Hi, I'm Barbara Steingass, and welcome to my program, Solving the Grief and Loss Puzzle, Piecing Together Your New Normal Life. To spare oneself from grief at all cost can be achieved only at the price of total detachment, which excludes the ability to experience happiness. Everyone experiences grief or loss at some point in their lives. A death of a loved one or a beloved pet. A breakup of a romance or friendship. Divorce. Getting fired. Losing a limb. Or suffering a natural disaster. It hurts. Whether it's major or minor, traumatic and quick, or long and drawn out. We all go through the grieving process to overcome it. This helps us to become stronger and to create our new normal life. How we cope and process our emotions after these losses and tragedies occur determines how the rest of our lives unfold. We either remain victimized by these experiences, staying stuck in the grief emotions, or we can come to some acceptance and explore different ways to experience happiness in our lives. Chapter one, body strategies. Hydrate, deep breathing, relax your mind, your body, get some rest. Eat properly, exercise. Vitamins and minerals, essential oils and herbs. Hydrate, keep a water bottle with you at all times. Stainless steel bottles and filtered water are best. Drink four to eight ounces of water every hour. Set a timer on your phone if you need to. Deep breathing. First, breathe deeply by inhaling in through your nose as if you're smelling flowers and expand the lower part of your chest and upper abdominal areas if you're inflating a balloon. Second, exhale through your nose or your mouth via pursed lips or puckered lips as if you were blowing through a straw. Do your best to exhale twice as long as you inhale, like this. Calm breathing. Say OM or sigh while exhaling. This can be quite calming for the nervous system. Oh. Oh. Or you can just sigh. Smell peppermint, rosemary, or eucalyptus oils to help expand and support deep breathing. Relax and rest. Take cat naps throughout the day. Do a restorative yoga pose by placing your legs up a wall or on some pillows to help you get the blood flow back to your brain. Proper sleep. Go to sleep and wake up at the same time every night and morning. Don't eat before going to bed and avoid caffeine in the evening. Eat properly. Eat small amounts regularly and try to eat natural foods rather than processed foods, quick foods, sugary foods, or fast foods. Those bad foods drain your energy and make it more difficult to get up out of bed and to get through your day. You can get help with meals like asking friends and family to cook or provide meals for you. Or if you do order food to be delivered, again, choose healthy foods. Exercise. Make sure to schedule a walk or other exercise at least two to three times a week. In the beginning, though, exercise daily. It's best to perform at least 20 to 30 minutes. 
stretching and yoga. Gently stretch along with those deep breaths to release your stress and emotions. Take a yoga class or other exercise class of your choosing. Vitamins and minerals. It's important to take vitamins, minerals, or supplements to help support your immune system during the grief process. Essential oils and herbs. There's natural sleep aids. You can search on the web, ask someone at your local health food store, or ask your doctor. Examples are Roman chamomile, marjoram, lavender, and there's also a sleep diffuser blend. If you don't have a diffuser, you can just open the bottle and bring it a little bit under your nose and take a, a few normal breaths smelling in the oil. The five stages, denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and acceptance are part of the framework that makes up our learning to live with the one we lost. They are tools to help us frame and identify what we may be feeling, but they are not stops on some linear timeline in grief. Chapter two, mind and emotional strategies. Shock and denial, guilt, anger, depression and sadness, acceptance. Shock and denial, we go numb and life as we know it is gone. We can't believe this is happening to us. It creates an emotional protective bubble that enables us to perform normal daily activities. Reach out for support. Don't isolate yourself. Talk to someone or write about how you're feeling. Guilt. Talk it out with a counselor, friend, family member, priest, pastor, someone that's been through it before. You can also write down your feelings to help you visualize your words on paper. Anger. Take deep breaths or exercise. Release the anger so it doesn't escalate to the point of rage. Expressing your anger can help you calm down. Find a safe place to vent your emotions in the form of yelling, screaming, kicking, stomping your feet to physically release the anger. But please do not hurt yourself or others. If you need to, take a pillow and hit that. Anger. You can write, draw, paint to express your anger and not be in denial of it. Then rip the paper into pieces and throw them out as a ceremonious way of letting go and releasing it. Depression and sadness. Start a new routine. Go back to work. Get together with friends you haven't seen in a while. Do an activity you stopped but enjoy doing. Learn a new hobby. Again, write down your thoughts and tell your story. Acceptance. The essential oil of spikenard helps to calm emotions and encourage acceptance. Cypress oil helps to release the past and to look forward by helping you flow into who you are truly meant to be. Helichrysium oil is another great solution to help you heal and accept love. This oil is often used for post-traumatic stress disorder. Chapter three, spiritual strategies, meditation, positive thoughts, essential oils, ask your angels and guides for help, forgiveness, gratitude, the art of giving and receiving, love and connection. Meditation. Find a form of meditation that works for you. You can look online to find one. Or go to a yoga class, watch a sunset, do some gardening to name a few examples. Practice some form of meditation at least once a day for a minimum of five to 10 minutes. Essential oils that can help you are sandalwood, frankincense, and juniper berry. Positive thoughts. Write three positive thoughts you feel during the course of the day. Then you can read them before you go to bed or just read something positive. Remember that your loved one who passed on 
wants you to be happy. Essential oils for depression and sadness include wild orange, bergamot, frankincense, and grapefruit. They are also helpful in lifting depression and comforting the sadness. Forgiveness. Write down a list of who you are angry with and cross them off as you find a way to forgive them, including yourself. This exercise is more about helping yourself be free of the negativity of hurt and anger. Release your emotions to set yourself free and unweigh your heart. Essential oils that help with forgiveness are bergamot and juniper berry. And there's also a blend for letting go. Generosity. Write down 10 ways that you can give back to society and do one of them at least once a week or once a month. It's an opportunity to keep your emotions cleansed and do something nice for yourself as a reward for your achievements. Love and connection. Ask yourself the following questions when you're feeling isolated. What can I do to feel more connected to people? Or how can I open my heart to love again? Cedarwood essential oil helps support connection as ideal for grounding and soothing. If I should die and leave you here a while, be not like others sore undone, who keep long vigil by the silent dusk. For my sake, turn again to life and smile, nerving thy heart and trembling hand to do something to comfort other hearts than mine. Complete these dear unfinished tasks of mine, and I, perchance, may therein comfort you. Thank you, and God bless.